call you guys right back, okay? Hey, uh... I'm gonna try a better signal. All right, let's go. <laughs> we had him for a second, but we lost him. Yeah, it worked a second ago. Hang on. I know, he's having a hard time with the connection. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's going on? On August 30th of this year, I received an email from one of the eighth grade English teachers who saw Siaka's Soul Pancake video about um, the origin of the name, and she knew that that's one of the writing assignments that we have in seventh grade. So we showed it to all of our classes. In that moment, I'm actually uniting with my tribe again, my family and learning from him that my true meaning of my name. On Facebook, I found the video and I just, a small comment, Siaka, thank you so much for sharing your video. It um, really meant a lot to the kids. Thanks for sharing your story. And within minutes, he wrote back. My response, of course, is holy cow, the kids are gonna be so excited to hear that you responded. And um, he writes back immediately, I'll do you one better. How you doing, Mrs. Walworth's class? You guys watched my video on YouTube about the history of my name. So I wanted to send a uh, thank you. They were really blown away by it. So I thought, okay, then, then let's kind of up our game here a little bit. And they recorded their name origin stories and shared it with Siaka. My name is Winter and my name means newness. My name means um, defender of man, which is kind of ironic since I'm not that strong. It means beautiful maiden. Son of a noble father, which fits because my dad's middle name is also Patrick. Siaka writes back and says, hey, I'd really love to make a connection with your kids. We can Skype, do a Google Hangout. Um, they'd be blown away by that. They would think it's amazing. So um, we met with the kids again. Again, this is outside of the regular class time. They came in, um, came up with three pages of questions to ask him. But actually, I'm coming. I'm visiting. I'm going to surprise these kids. They have no idea. I'm really looking forward to seeing their reaction. <laughs> Thank you all for your stories. That was amazing. Um, so I, I, I hit play, and the first one comes up, and I'm like, oh, I pause it, and I got to walk away. I'm crying a little <laughs> bit. I got to come back over. My dog's running around me in circles, wondering what's going on. I'm like, OK, let's get through it. So I'm like trying to cook my eggs and be like, oh, oh it's OK, Kelly. Um, so wow, yeah, but I just want you guys to know you guys really touched me, and that was really amazing that uh, you took the time out and found out about yourself and, and shared it with me. Addie, you're up. <laughs> Thank you. My name's Addie, and I was wondering the reason why you didn't like your name. Addie. Well, thank you for the question, Addie. Well, you know, it's like anything else. Um, when you're young and kids make fun of you, if there's anything I can tell you guys, usually what people make fun of you about is something that they're uncomfortable with, and it's usually your best quality. Second grade teachers, go ahead and copy your class down to the auditorium. Thank you. Hello, Siaka. I'm hey. Sophie, and I was wondering who is the most influential person in your life? My mom. My mom raised me and my brother by herself as a, as a foreigner in this country. My mom told me this one thing that I want to uh, share with you guys that kind of blew my mind. She retired at 66. She's 71 in that right now. So she retired at 66, and at 68, I remember I, one morning I was trying to call her, and I was like, uh, I called her cell phone, she didn't answer. I called her house phone, she didn't answer. So she, she called me back, and I'm like, where have you been? And she said, oh, I was, I was taking a test, a nursing test. I'm like, a nursing test? You're, you have your master's in nursing, and you're retired. What are you taking the test for? And she's like, if you're not always learning, you're dying. So I see this woman who has all those things that you think, that's it, you're done, right? Masters, worked a you know, job for 30 years, retired, can, and she's still choosing to learn and keeping herself and her mind sharp. So always, always, always learn, man. Always keep going. There's never an end. There's always another question that can be answered and be searched on. If that's, if that's anything I can give you guys, always keep going. That's how I start. Keep looking young, too. Can I get some love? I want to get a little selfie with you guys really quick. To be able to do something where it's just this connection of somebody so across the country who, you know, a week, two weeks later is standing in my classroom, standing in the auditorium in front of, you know, 300 students. It's just, um, it's amazing that we are able to use technology in this way that it seems like there's so many bad things, so many, um, 
so much negativity, so much anger, so much hatred that's out there. And it's so easy for that to spread, but at the same time, to be able to make a connection like this. I mean, there were 33 kids in this classroom who will remember this for the rest of their lives. We'll see you guys later, eh? <laughs>